Okay, welcome back people to the second part of the video installing Hack and Trust Mountain Land 10.8.4 on an AMD processor. Okay, so let's get started. So this is my Snow Leopard drive. Okay, I've already installed Mountain Land. I'll be reinstalling it for you, not, a, not much of a deal for me. So HD 2.3. Okay, this is the Snow Leopard disk. I'm sure everyone knows how to do it because if you don't just surf around the videos how to install it's very simple it hardly take around half an hour yeah so like let me boot into it first like yes see unscrew well actually you won't be using that it's just for man okay well the stupid birds outside so minus four sixty four minus three so actually nothing much just press enter and wait for it to boot well i always press minus v you know so if i if i you know find out any problem I, when i boot in i just try to fix it or at least know what the problem is so actually you can see uh, huh it's loading up well boot up boot up my pc i know you can do it with the six core performance you have well see it's done it has booted up and people yeah so it's done so what you'll go uh, what you will be doing is the first thing is you will go here well let me take the camera there well come here well i'm not sure if you can see that but there's the applications folder so let's get it there uh, applications I'm sure you can see that it's applications okay so once you're there well get it started well the next thing you'll be doing is go to utilities yeah. yes after that you'll be going to disk utilities okay this one well, I know if most of you might be knowing where it is and what it is, just making it, you know, just to make it easier for people who have been trying for the first time. Well, that's not the problem I even I experienced and I was like, what the hell, I can just never install an AMD store, that that stuff. Okay, so, what you're gonna do is erase an uh, empty partition. Well, it is a empty partition Mac OS X extended journal. Okay, just name it Mountain Land for instance. Well, erase it. Well, 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 well. Uh, come in, come in. Yeah. Erase. Yeah, let me tell you. First time booting up of Mountain Lion can. Yeah, see, for example, I have now erased the disk, and as you can see, it's a whole new volume now. Mm hmm. 19.72 uh, most of the volume is empty and so next thing is wait hang on for a second where well, as you erased you have a new disk for installing mountain lion so the next thing is you will be going to download the uh, uh, iot cost mountain lion 2 that's hackintosh mountain lion 10.8.2 so browse wherever the folder is for example in mine it is I saved it in NTFS drive so not a big deal because I'm using only a 40 GB external hard disk okay desktop no it wasn't in desktop was it where to download them I download them I downloads yep here are the downloads yep it is add cost mountain lion 2 well I'm sure you can see this okay well once it's there and once you are in the position, what you're going to do is just mount this thing. Well, verifying seriously, I'm sure it's all right. Well, it's done. So when it comes here, I've enabled, you know, show hidden folders. You'll be going to. Okay, sorry. Well, uh, what is that key? What is the key? Is that key? Well, you'll be searching for system. Yeah, system installation. Well, I'll show it to you again. Well, 
system first you'll be going to system folder well there then you go to the installation well hang on you try touch 10 yep so installation open it packages well now you come down to os install dot mpkg well there it is os install dot mpkg i'm sure you can see that okay so i'm being big bring back the, i don't have my cameraman that's got them today he's a very good cameraman okay i'll say so he's not here available with me so i'm making the video alone but not a bad deal because many people you know you're just curious to know how to install it so, and, uh, yeah, just now we formatted the drive mountain lion so we will be just going to select that drive well for the record i'll okay my specs are, are there in below description okay customize well these are one of the most important things to do don't select the bootloader no yep after bootloader options just let it be as it is don't select anything more okay and patches as you can see just let it be how it is and one of the things if you have a 6 core or above processor please make sure to select the you know mac model as mac pro 5.1 well i selected it yeah see that's how it is uh, there's no need to install the sleep enablers i noticed there's no working of none of my amd builds so i recommend don't install the sleep enabler no well so going back back drivers okay drivers okay sound okay most of them will work but in mine it don't so I just don't select you know don't select too much of drivers during installation mm, presence of a lot of kernel extinctions that are drivers will cause many 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 problems okay so I hope I get a new camera by you know a few months but well I'm working out with this camera now. yeah SATA ID just let AHCI SATA be selected okay people well get him back USB 3 just don't select it because in the latest release of you know what you call it multi beast to have all those stuff once you have a working build and you know it's working then go ahead experiment and when it don't just reinstall it it's network they don't work for me they usually work for most of them but you know when uh, real tech 8168 i don't know why it don't support or i know the drivers are not working in mine maybe yeah vga okay i have a ati 7770 so the problem is well, there are a lot of problems, but VGA, there's no drivers in the first place. If you have a good driver, maybe, like if you have ATI 4850, we just won't need a driver. Well, so, just make sure not to select a lot of drivers except for ATI SATA. Well, if you sincerely need one, just install it. Yeah, main thing is you don't install the bootloader. It's a very crappy bootloader, I'll say, for AMD. Nothing works. Well, it asks for password. Yeah, I had a password. Well, it's installing people, so actually you can fast forward. Well, it'll take around 10 minutes maybe. So meanwhile, you mind if I pause the video? Okay, you don't. That's better. Okay, goodbye.